Well, all right. Some new rules have been announced here. There are some new rules in the NFL. Some of them more minor things that I still find interesting. And I'll, I'm going to make a video because uh, there's more information coming out uh, as we speak. But I'm going to make a video either tonight or tomorrow kind of recapping everything. But there was one rule change in particular that really got the Internet's attention. And I figured I would give my uh, make a video on it, kind of just explain what's going on. Because people are usually very quick to get outraged and very slow to figure out what exactly that are getting outraged about, so hopefully this can help out with that. Um, but yeah, let's get into what is the controversial rule change. It is the banning of what is called the hip drop tackle. Via Jory Epstein on Twitter, or X, whatever you call it, uh, I asked competition committee chair uh, Rich McKay how to train officials on penalty they admit is hard to discern. The message, this is a penalty, call it, but only if you see the defender, one, grab opponent and get control, two, swivel him, and three, unweight him. You need all three. They also showed video clips of how to, uh, you know, exactly define this. This is going to be the best video I have. So uh, on Twitter, there, it was posted a recording of a TV showing another clip. So that's why I've zoomed it in, but that's why it looks kind of tough. This is kind of the best one I could see where you see it's, it's a Dallas defender tackling a, you know, uh, Cincinnati player and watch kind of what happens. I've slowed it down, but you see him kind of, you know, uh, essentially use the body weight of himself to knock the defender to the, uh, or knock the uh, Cincinnati player to the ground. This does check all three boxes. You know, he did uh, have, you know, control of the Cincinnati player. He swiveled him and then he unweighted him. So this is kind of what they're looking to ban. And you can definitely already see, yeah, there could be some potential concerns with just being able to tell what exactly you know, this is and what it isn't, you know, watching it in real time, can you easily tell, oh yes, this should be a penalty or it shouldn't be. Again, via Jory Epstein, how often was swivel hip drop used last season? Per league study, 230 examples were used in the 2023 season, so roughly once per game. Uh, that was up 60% from 2022, so a sizable jump from 2022 to 2023. Uh, 15 players suffered time loss injuries from it, so nearly once per week, which certainly, I mean, you know, you hear that, that does sound not particularly great. Well, football is an inherently violent game, and there are going to be certain, you know, uh, it just risk that when you sign up to play football, you are accepting. I think most people can agree that if there's ways we can, uh, you know, at least I would say I can, uh, I would say if there's ways we can make things less dangerous, even if it makes it a slightly less fun product to watch, I think that's probably a fair trade-off. I don't want to see guys getting you know, significant injuries ever. Like, that's not fun for me. And if getting rid of this uh, tackle can help with that, well, for me, I'm usually all for play helping out player safety, helping out, you know, uh, guys get, uh, you know, be able to be more safe and not have those uh, prolonged injuries. Now, I think a lot of people are concerned, you know, you might be wondering, what's the controversy then? Why is why are people so upset about this? Well, for one thing, anytime there's ever been a rule change, people get upset about it. That's just, you know, people like what people like football. They don't want to see it get changed, but it does have to get changed. Uh, but the other thing is, I think people are concerned about how difficult could it be for refs to officiate this? As I mentioned in one of those earlier tweet, tweets that, uh, you know, Rich McKay himself admits it's a difficult penalty to figure out is it a penalty or isn't it you know I had to kind of slow it down to make it clear exactly what was happening via Tom Pelissoro on Twitter competition committee chair Rich McKay says officials will be told they can call penalties for swivel hip drop tackle but they must see all three elements including unweighting into legs also notes there's no way to get reps uh, officiating it since it doesn't happen in practice. And that's, to me, again, and we don't have the exact wording of what the penalty is or isn't yet, but I think that's that last line is really what's concerning a lot of people. The fact that, I mean, you'll be able to, in preseason, get reps, but it's inherently going to be a difficult thing to figure out and a difficult thing to call. Now, just because it's a difficult thing to call doesn't mean it shouldn't be a penalty. I think we can all agree there's been some horrible roughing the passer penalties over the years, and roughing the passer is a difficult thing to call and, and to you know decide where is the line or where isn't the line. I don't think many people are saying roughing the passer shouldn't be a penalty. I think we all agree, no, it makes sense for that to be a penalty. Uh, but just in general, there is going to be a negative drawback. I think that's absolutely true. I think the other kind of obvious massive drawback in all of this is the, what is it, 
mean for defenders, for a def- defensive player? How are you, you know, if you're a smaller player, how are you going to be able to make these tackles? Especially uh, if you're trying to tackle a tight end, for example, and you're a smaller safety or you're a corner and you have to try and make that work, it's going to be difficult. But in some ways, that could make things a little bit more interesting, right? It could make more value to bigger linebackers that can still move, things like, like that. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, Football is a game where there always is you know, ways you can move, you shift around to make that work, but still it could be changing the game. And again, I think a lot of people get frustrated that all these rule changes help out the offense and very few help out the defense. And I think part of it is the NFL themselves, they don't see it as a negative at the very least if a rule change is helping out offense. They recognize that, you know, I mean, that Patriots Rams Super Bowl from a few years ago, everyone talked about how bad of a game it was. It was a competitive game. In the fourth quarter, it was a one-score game up until, like, the end. Uh, Like, it was very competitive, but that's not why people complain. People complain because there wasn't a lot of scoring. There wasn't a lot of – because there was action in it, too. Plenty of big defensive plays, uh, but just not a lot of scoring. And so I think the NFL kind of feels like, well – uh, you know, if this rule change can help out a player and can make it tougher for defenses, that's kind of a win-win, I think, for the NFL in a lot of ways. My stance on all of this is, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm a little conflicted. I've never played in the NFL, obviously, if you couldn't tell from how I look. Uh, so I can't really sit here and I feel confidently say one way or the other uh, about the uh, tackle. It is going to make things tougher on, you know, again, it's hard to tackle a person, right? If you're a defensive player, there's already so many things you can't do. This is another thing you can't do. Football is a game that is going to require some injuries, but at the end of the day, I'm always in favor of of doing things to protect uh, the players, even if it means that you have... Yes, there is a line at a certain point. You don't want to make it flag football, but, like, I'm usually going to be... If if it is an injury every week, uh, you know, a a time loss injury. So that means not just you get banged up, but then get back on the field a few plays later. Like, you're missing time because of that injury. If that's happening once a week for a specific hit, I'm not necessarily against it, but I want to see a little bit more. I want to do a little bit more research to fully give an opinion myself. So I'm not, I'm not outraged like some people are, but it is an interesting situation. So I wanted to make a video on it. Uh, But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.